ninjas with guns and fringes. Ninjas with guns and fringes. You don't want to, you Hebrew Israelites out there, you men and you women, you don't want to be, you can't tell the difference between them and the people of the world. Once again, you can't tell the difference between them and the people of the world. They look just like the people of the world. Look, somebody coming straight off a rap video or somebody that's dead in the hood. Shalom, just the brothers out of Moth. First off, I give all honor and glory to my heavenly Father Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rahakwadash, and double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who do be well in peace and salutations to all you brothers. All right, bringing out this truth and sincerity. All right, and I just want to do this lesson uh, for the brothers and sisters that's just coming into this thing. You know, you might just be coming out of the Christian church or wherever you were at and you are seeing and hearing different groups speak, but we're here to show you that what you're seeing and watching, all right, this uh, worldly look right here, and these gentlemen that are supposed to be men of the Lord are just like niggas off the street. You're supposed to be transformed and have a renewed mind and not be conformed to the world that you were in before you came into this truth. So you have to change. You can't be what you see right here, guns, you know. Romans 12 and two says, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what that is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. And what you see right here are just men rapping, singing, being worldly brothers all right this is nothing this is not being set apart okay the lord gave his prophets different gifts and rapping and doing music in his truth is not a gift from the lord these brothers are using their grace period to do shit that they could have done when they was walking in wickedness ain't nothing changed all right Romans 12 and 6, having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us. So you new brothers that are coming in, they come in humble, not looking at things in the fleshly mind, you know, not looking at guns and looking at flashy brothers marching down the street. Look at the leader of IUIC. These are shepherds that the Lord didn't set up, all right? And there's thousands and thousands of men that follow him bishop nate he's just an example right the lord never told us to do this he told us to prophesy finish that off in romans it says whether prophesy let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith so we're supposed to be prophesying not using the grace period to rap or do music you know we're supposed to be in the house of mourning preparing ourselves for the bride is coming back these are just niggas. These are just niggas. These are, these are niggas doing what they did. It's nothing changed. And if you have a spiritual eye, you can just see this. We have to be in the spirit of repentance, not guns and goons that set up. These brothers are set up to blame the ministry, to, use, to allow Esau to build a report on us. Now, this man right here is in an R&B group, Jagged Edge. But he's with a so-called Israelite camp, Sakari. And what is black love? This confusion. Black is a social construct. And being black never done anything for you but brought you sorrow, confusion, death. Now you've been awakened to this truth and you got guns drawn out. Right? Ecclesiastes 7 and 2. It is better to go into the house of mourning than to go into the house of feasting. For that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to his heart. You see, this is the house of feasting guns, bouncing around at camp,
making rap videos all in the streets. Ecclesiastes 73, sorrow is better than laughter. For by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. So if these men were wise, they would be in the house of mourning, not in the house of mirth. Let's get that. It's Ecclesiastes 7 and 4. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. This is all mirth, guns, goon faces, you know, and then you got this brother right here, okay? And this is straight blasphemy. To the chief musician, the Bach Award. This is one of Sakari's artists. And he has the picture of King David as if he's the chief musician. Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai gave us strict instructions. All right, to be blameless. All right, blameless. And this ain't blameless. You brothers are jumping around in fringes with bottles and you put it on wax, you put it on tape. And brothers coming in here, they look at you, man. It's like some fraternity shit. Ecclesiastes 7 and 5, it is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the song of fools. And these songs are the songs of fools. You know, I went to a so-called black college, Clark Atlanta University, and we saw this every weekend the Q's and the Kappas all them was doing this man let's go to the book of Psalms this is Psalms 4 and 2 O ye sons of men how long will you turn my glory into shame how long will you love vanity and seek after leasing and that's what this is this is vanity vain glory you can't pull up one scripture in the Bible where the apostles or prophets or making music videos or rapping, all right? Or doing any type of musical. It, they was out preaching, teaching the word of the Lord to the Gentiles and to the Jews. So we're supposed to be out here, all right, offering up righteous sacrifices, not this right here. This is wicked. Even their faces are wicked. All of them. There's no, The Holy Spirit is not present right here. All right, Psalms 4 and 5, offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord, not put your trust in Smith and Wesson, not putting your trust in a Draco in your backpack at camp with your bulletproof vest on, all right, and your long guns, man. This is a false report. We know that the book of Exodus 23 tells us not to raise a false report. So we're watching plenty of examples of the false report and from false prophets. This isn't the message of our Heavenly Father. Let's go to the Philippians. This is Philippians 2 and 2. It says, Fulfill ye my joy, that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being on one accord of one mind. Let nothing be done through strife or vainglory, but in lowliness of the mind, and let each esteem other better than themselves. All right, and in watching this, you can see their brothers are full of flesh. All right, brothers are still, you know, they ain't, they ain't left the streets. You see, let nothing be done in strife or vainglory. There's no humility right here. Okay, verse five, let this be the mind in you, which was also in Hamashiach Yahushai. Ain't we supposed to be so-called Christ-like? Is this so called? Is this Christ like? Which his name is Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. Right? Would Yahweh Shai approve of this? And that's the question we have to ask. Right? When he was healing the sick and the blind and the lame, he never boasted or bragged or called for the people to praise him. When he had a multitude of people that were following him, did they have guns and Dracos and, and no, man? Because we were about our father's business, right? Yahweh Shai, he came humble. He was a carpenter. He made himself of no reputation. Matter of fact, let's get that. Okay, let's get that. This is Philippians 2 and 7. But made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. No, not baby. Not thugger. And that's what y'all, man, y'all follow. You follow worldly men and you act like it. 
And the new brothers and sisters are coming in this thing and they're confused. We're supposed to be striving for the masteries, not going back into the world of, of carnality. Just like the elder said, these are niggas. These are goons that never left the world, man. This is why you should conduct yourself and present yourself in a fashion that represents you have a shy, not street niggas. Now, I posted this scripture in the beginning of the video. 1 John 2.15 Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. This is plain and simple. I mean, just looking at their faces, you can tell that the Most High and Yahweh Shai is not dwelling in these men's temples. Next verse, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world, and this is of the world. Why would you bring guns to the ministry? It just reminds me of that parable in the book of Matthew, the 22nd chapter, when these men went their own ways. You're not going in the way, going through that straight gate. You're going your own way. You see, carnality ain't going to get you nowhere, right? Esau has the blessing, which is the guns. Listen to this parable, Matthew 22 and 5. But they made light of it and went their ways, one to his farm, another to his merchandise. And the remnant took his servants and entreated them spitefully and slew them. Then saith he to his servants, The wedding is ready, but they which were bidden were not worthy. And this is what we're looking at. These men are not worthy. We're all filthy rags, but we're trying to do the best that we can in this flesh. Are you? I mean, is this? Look at this, man. All of them look wicked. All of them look lost. And every group that we showed on here is in that same spirit. So they're not worthy. They're not mortifying their members, abiding in the truth. You see, because the outer man means absolutely nothing to our Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. It's about that inner cup being clean. Putting on for the city and the party life. And uh, uh, remember the brother last week, I think he said, the truth is boring. And then he proceeds to start the crip walk. <laughs> So your congregation sees everything you put out and they accept it because you're wolves in sheep's clothing. You're false prophets, right? And I'll end it with this. This is Romans, the book of 16 and 17. It says, Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. So avoid these men because they're going to lead you to a ditch. Right? You're going to fall off a cliff dealing with men like this. All right? You're supposed to be humble and doing the work of Yahweh Bashim Shai, rebuking, exhorting, and doing everything to magnify the name of the Lord. And that's the duty of a true prophet. All right? Not leaning to your own understanding, doing the things of the world. All right? So hope this lesson has been edifying to the body and elect of Yahweh Bashim Shai. By Hashem, Rahakadash, and double honors to the true elders and apostles of Great Millstone who do be well. Peace and salutations to all you, Akim. Just a brother, Azanamoff, on to the next. And we're going to keep seeing this again. This ain't going to stop. All right? This ain't going to stop. Shalom.